your boy Talent, aka Talent Tycoon, right here on 94.1 WFNU. As you can see, I'm not in the studio tonight. However, I'm still in the studio. We're still working. We're still grinding. But as you know what it is, man, it's a show all about growth, all about uh, motivation, all about highlighting artists, uh, new music, and what's really popping on in the city. You know what I'm saying? I like to be particular. Who's really making a noise in the city? And tonight, I'm super excited, uh, drum roll, uh, for the one and only up-and-coming artist. She is out of Minneapolis. She'll tell us a little bit more about her career you know, what she's doing, uh, what she's got going on. I seen her on IG. I see people got the cameras out. That's when I know you're doing something, right? <laughs> um, the one and only. Hey, <laughs> you know, my name is Lanisha. Um, you know, I'm an R&B artist, but I kind of touch on like all types of genres, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to be here and thankful that you're having me on the show. Oh, man, I'm glad. I'm glad. Like I said, man, I got to give props out to my boy, Tris. Uh, man, I heard you from a song with him. Yes. Yeah. What it know, <laughs> man, Tristan Price, man. We just did an interview with him, so go check that out. Um, But, yeah, so I heard you from a song with him, and I said, oh, my gosh, mm -hmm. man, all these talented, you know, young artists all on one song. I'm like, they're collaborating. And I'm not <laughs> knowing who – I'm feeling old, and I'm young. Oh, oh my goodness. But, um, yeah, but yeah, so I got to shout out to you. Um, So let's hop into this, man. Let's hop into it. Okay, come How, on. Yeah. How did you start the whole music, you know, genius mindset that I say you got? Because you, you're talented. Well, thank you. I do appreciate that. Um, I will say, you know, my music took off pretty early as far as like me realizing like I wanted to sing. Mm -hmm. um, I've always kind of done uh, music as far as like singing, choir, covers, um, performances randomly. Like I would do like school talent shows and stuff like that or, you know, sing for like football games, basketball games, the national anthem, things like that. Um, and even I was active duty before, like I actually oh. started my music career. I was in the Navy for four okay. years. And so while I was active, I still tried to kind of incorporate singing. You know, I would sing for like retirement ceremonies or, you know, just certain events that like, like the Navy would have, you know, put together for officers or whatever we were kind of recognizing in that moment. Um, and so when I left the Navy, I was kind of like, I don't want to be like just singing covers anymore. You know, I really right, want to make right. my own music. Like I really want to because, you know, I'm really big on like my soul social media is like I love being on there. I just post whatever like I just post the first thing I'm thinking of like Facebook and Twitter got me down bad like I, really, I, don't, I don't post whatever I'm thinking on Twitter or Facebook and it's a terrible trait to have but it actually is what started like me realizing like I could write a song so okay one day I was like I got to like hearing this beat that um after five sent me after five is this producer. Um, he's originally, I believe, from Jacksonville, Florida, but he is now in like the Arizona areas and stuff like that. Um, super talented producer. Um, he and another good friend of mine were like kind of on me real heavy, just about Lonnie, you need to start making your own music, you need to start doing this. Like, come on, get on it. And you know, me being like a little insecure scared me. I'm like, bro, no, bro, I can't, I can't. Like, we got you I'm to push. Yeah, like, I want push. to, but like, what if it's corny, you know? And then one night, you know, I got my little heart broken. You know, I was all sad and stuff. And I got to hearing like a beat that he sent me. And I was like, oh, my goodness. Like, I think I got like a chorus, like, which is like a hook. And so right. I got to write it, which is actually crazy, which is the first song that I ever wrote. Um, And so I wrote that one. And I actually sat on that song for about two years, I want to say, a year and some change, two what? years. And so, yeah, I sat on it forever. I couldn't, I couldn't get myself in the studio. I was too fucking scared, or excuse me, I was too scared, <laughs> and I couldn't get, you know, the confidence to like get out there. And so, when I moved to Minneapolis, which was January of last, well, it was technically like end of November last year. Um, I called up my homeboy Bone. He works over at Authentic Empires in Atlanta, and I told him like, I know you know somebody who can put me in a studio. Like, I know you know someone who can get me in, because I was just. I was ready. You know, I got heartbroken again. And I was like, you know what? Like, I'm not going to keep sleeping on myself or putting myself on pause. And so I got crazy recorded and I dropped it March 11th. And that just kind of took off, you know, 
in so many ways, you know, um, it kind of crazy really is such a monumental piece to me because I I waited so long and it's such like a, a coming to earth moment because I could have I could be even farther if I hadn't sat on it, you know, for so long. Like if I would have just really trusted myself and like right. gave myself that chance, you know, yeah. I, I just. But I will say, you know, the journey is definitely kind of opened like so many doors just as far as, you know, meeting my uh, franchise, which is Wave Stars. Um, and they kind of have carried, you know, my career and given me that support and that cushion of just undying like motivation. You know, it's always go, go, go. And I love that. I love it because I'm a workaholic. So they got me <laughs> in and out of a million like okay i like this one i'm sticking with them and then it's just been i've just been dropping music since ever since so so like are they kind of like produce your music and kind of just like put you out well, so they so we don't have a producer in our okay. franchise but you know we're so there's so many of us there's about 20 ish of us wow. um collectively okay. and so with there being 20 people we all have connections in different ways and so we all just kind of share those connections, you know, and kind of put, e put each other in different rooms and make certain things happen just as far as like, if you do music, you know, we can put you on to Gibby. If you haven't heard of Gibson Pressure, he's one of the best engineers I've found in Minneapolis. I love okay, him. Yeah, I've definitely heard. Like, okay, you know? okay, you in the right hand. Gibson Pressure, right he's hand. good, man. He, okay. he, he produced okay. most of my album that I dropped. I just dropped the album um on my birthday, 1231. Yes. Um, and so he produced he he produced I think almost every song but one or two off that album. Oh, um okay. and he he killed it. He really killed it. He really made my vision come to life, you know. So shout out to Gibson because I couldn't do it without you, Gibby. I appreciate you for real. <laughs> shout out to <laughs> shout out to the boy, man. You nice, man. You nice. Right? Okay, so oh so on this on this project, how many songs mm -hmm. is it? Is it a is it a single or it's, like it's so the album. project upcoming? Yeah. The project upcoming, it's a single. Okay. Um, it's called Tell Me. Okay. Um, I think a lot of people can relate to it, especially the ladies, you know. It's right after Valentine's Day. So I know there's a couple girls out there heartbroken, you know. Just, just, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it happens. But, um, you know, I, I try to make music, you know, that I feel and that, you know, I, I can kind of share with other people. Just, you know, everybody, everybody feels the same things just in different ways and different forms. Nice. to different lengths you know nice. and so with that being said when I wrote tell me you know I tried to come from a place of just understanding that you know like pain is okay and I understand it and I comprehend it but like are we okay you know that was kind of like my thing like you know when you're the girl and the guy is just kind of like toying with you a little bit and he's not really like confirming you know anything you're just kind of there and you're not sure how to move you don't know what to say you don't know how right. to act and that's why that's where like the hook just kind of comes in. Tell me, tell me we're all right. Tell me we're just fine, you know? Okay. And so that's how I kind of built that song. So that song will be dropping the 28th. And okay. I'm super excited about it. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to drop that over on the radio too, like a world <laughs> premiere. You know what I'm saying? Yes, by all means. Dream it. It will be out on all platforms. And I'm super, super excited about it. I cannot yeah. wait. Man, I'm excited for it too. I know, I know, Minnesota's gonna be excited because we want to get that new fresh feel, man. Like you know, I talked to a, a few you know artists around the, the city that's making noise, and I say, man, like, I'm, Minnesota needs a sound back. It needs you know, it right. needs something that's gonna kind of put us up there with Atlanta's and the New Yorks, mm -hmm. and like you know, so we got we got sounds, but we need people like and you that's super talented you know, to drop songs like that. So okay, one so, so, thing. Hmm? One thing I did kind of notice with the Minnesota music scene is just kind of like, you know, you see so many talented people. I, I have met an unbelievable amount of talented people, you know, who just kind of let their situation define them, let their circumstances define them and define their dreams and stuff like that. Like my biggest thing about like my dreams is I, I don't call them dreams. You know, I chase my realities. I have visions for myself and I have wants and beliefs and needs for myself that are, you know, maybe not realistic right now, but they are realistic and I will touch them. And having that faith has kind of pushed me. You know, I, I'll say 2022 was not a kind year to Lonnie. It was yeah. not. Yeah. Struggled, you know, yeah, but you know, I, I made it, I, I really, I really put my all into my, our realities and I made it happen you know and that's just kind of like it's so sad you know I wish I could 
kind of give that that motivation to other artists because I just know so many people who could do so many crazy things with their talents and their mm -hmm. their drive and you know their efforts and I just really wish I, I really hope Minnesota starts really getting on that grind level and just like that motivational level for themselves if not anybody else you know like Gosh. our Minnesota is a very slept on state and it is it, it, it really we play is. a big part we play mm -hmm. a big part in our own suffering you know like yeah. as far as promotional and marketing and you know getting yourself out there being too scared to walk indoors too scared to shake a hand you know all that stuff Ooh. matters in this industry that's that's one thing I've noticed this whole year has taught me so much just about like being an artist is so much more than just getting in a booth and singing it's so much more it's crazy mm -hmm. it's crazy ain't it though and I'm so I'm so mm -hmm. glad you elaborated on that because that's something that you know <laughs> so myself felt it's like man what like when are we going to be able to kind of just everybody wants to be the top dog but people right. don't understand like just like the sun goes up it comes down everybody's going to mm -hmm. have their time to shine it's just being patient and waiting for your time you know for right. to say hey you're, you're, you know, you're doing your thing. We're going to give you the love and credibility exactly. that you, you know, deserve. The next person's going to get it, too. I think a lot of it has to do, too, with just enjoying where you're at in your circumstance. You know, like, I, I'm my own biggest critic. You know, I don't think there's anybody who kind of, you know, beats myself up the way that I do. I can say that I have an amazing support system. You know, shout out to the WS. You know, they kind of, they they hold my heart for real. You know, they, they, they pick me up on one of them days I'm really dogging myself and I'm just super down and I can't really focus on the project because I just have so much happening sometimes and I can't focus you know so all of that to say you know I always forget in those hard times to sit and enjoy the moment and remember that this is an answered prayer that I'm living right now like I wanted this worry and it's okay to have that worry you know like I, I don't I just know you know regardless of where I'm at you know the big biggest part of this journey is being okay with where you're at because you know that you're going to get farther every day is progression. every single day is progression and so i just hope you know i can share that you know on it on here just so if y'all oh, yes. listen to anything i say yes y'all hey fans follow y'all listen to her she's talking <laughs> real facts right now she's making this real easy for me right now okay this is what we need but you know what like i said man sometimes it's just the right you know you're in the right place at the right time you know, I was fortunate right. to hear your music from someone else that I was like, whoa, like, I know he's very talented and you got to experience and hear him talk. So to know that, you know, you're in the same realm and you guys are, you know, collectively making music. And to be honest with you, it's like you guys are like, I understand why y'all could be compatible and, and music wise, because musically, yeah. because it's like, man, you guys are just on a whole nother stratosphere. And I just see so much. I really appreciate that. You guys, man, like, really yeah, cool I'll, it's cool crazy too because Tristan I I found a video of his song closer on mm. TikTok and I had made like a remix to his TikTok and for his open verse like TikTok okay. and so when I had posted it he saw it and he was like this is like really good like wow you know and I'm like <laughs> I mean it was okay I didn't even think you're gonna see it but okay thank you like right right right, right. I'm putting it out yeah take it so, <laughs> after like I want to say like two, three weeks of like just chopping it up, getting to know each other, blah, blah, blah. Like just kind of because I'm I'm a very, very, very protective person. Like yeah. of my energy, if, if it's one person, if it's anybody who know me, everybody knows like I, I have trust issues out out the behind. I don't like, <laughs> I don't be letting people in, you know, like yeah, I'm I understand very, very protective of myself. You know, and so after some time, you know, just kind of get to know each other, getting to understand each other's sounds and like what kind of song we were envisioning. Um. I actually had him come to my house and he sat on my kitchen table and we wrote. I made him sit there and write with me because I write my music. I like writing. It it keeps right. the creative flow going. You know, the occasional song I'll freestyle, but I really enjoy writing because it gives you time to be thorough, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I told him like, no, 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 no. It's not going to be no freestyling. <laughs> no, no, no. We're going to write this out and we're going to plan it. And he kept telling me, he's like, I'm not going to lie. I don't think, I don't think I can remember the last time I just sat down and wrote a song. And no, I'm like, we're well, writing one today. Yeah, yeah that's one refreshing. Today. So that's good. we have wrote, that's I dope. can't wait. And, you know, probably I want to say about a month after that, we got the song finished. And then I called him up. I'm like, Tristan, like, I want to put you on the album. <laughs> I like, mad. It, it worked out because it sounds so it's just I, I, when I heard it I said oh my gosh I'm like this this could be a chop or a chart um top 
you know, top of the charts. Like it could be something I, I can see really on like national television and, you know, syndicated and music I videos behind that. it. Like I, I, I'm like, man, I'm thinking I'm in sound with what's going on. And I'm like, man, there's a whole, you know, another generation that's just like crazy. And, you know, a lot of people think, you know, uh, old school music is just the best, you know, the best, which, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of it is, but they forget. I, I, I could agree with that. I think yeah, but, old, but, school, old school set the tone for us to even tone. have, you know, the, the genres and all the different right. sounds that we have now, you know, every, you know, the, the music industry thrives off of samples, which is something oh, that wow. I love. I love a good sample. Um, But with that being said, you know, that just goes to show and gives credit to the OGs who did yeah. it first, you know, and like what door they opened for us to be able to even make this sound or make this happen or, you know, come up with like idols, I think are very important. And, you know, I got to give it to the old school genres and stuff like that. The yeah. old school heavy hitters, you know, they, they, they paved they, the way. They, they laid the mark, but it's like people like you and Tris and, uh, you know, on your own and Jay Black. there's a lot of people I could be throwing out, but like you guys are doing your part. You're doing that the keeping the the stage elevated, you know what I'm saying? Keeping that that sound, that good new fresh yeah. sound, but it's like different and unique. So I I appreciate what you guys do. Thank now, okay, let me you. jump into this question because I got some questions for okay. Ashley. Okay, come on. So, where did the singing come about? You know, we talked a little bit before, you know, off air, mm -hmm. but just give a little, you know, people where this where did this talent like just come from? Was it just natural? Was it? Um, I'm not going to say it was natural. I think, you know, <laughs> as a five, six year old kid, you know, every kid would love to believe they could sing, you know, but I'm not going to say I could do all that. I will say after, you know, some years of pra practicing, you know, I, you know, I started off almost like any kid, you know, singing along to the radio. Um, and I would just, I think the biggest thing that carried like my musical talent is I would like teach myself to mimic other artists. Like mm. I'm talking the song, the ad lib, like the, the melodies, all, all the background vocals. I would find the harmonies. I would like make my sisters do it with me. Cause I got a million little sisters. So I would make them, <laughs> I would make them do it with me. I'm like, y'all, I need you to learn this song so we can hit this note so we can make it perfect and it can sound good and I can be at peace. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's slick. That's slick. You got it. Okay. That's so, slick. All that to say, you know, how I was telling you earlier, um, I was singing one time, visiting my father um, out here in Minnesota, actually. And, you know, he heard me one day and he go and he calls me Sunshine. And he was like, Sunshine, like, Lanisha, like, was that you? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I was just like, it could have been, you know. And so, you know. Fast forward to that night, um, he brought me to his band practice and I just kind of looked at him and I was like, you really have like a band? Like I was so, <laughs> I was so disbelieved. I was like sitting there like, I'm like, I don't even know how old I was. I was probably like 12, anywhere from like 12 to 14, I think. Um, And I just remember sitting there, I'm like, like, you, like you just do everything you just do everything <laughs> like i can't have nothing of myself you know <laughs> so I just kept sitting there thinking, like wow like i really can't escape that whole i'm my own father's daughter like for real like right. it's crazy to me you know you. And so all that to say you know that that's really kind of where the music had kind of come from just my own peak interest and then when i seen you know my dad kind of in that environment because you know he always he's always the goofy type you know I'm very much goofy I'm a lot like my dad you know and so when it came down to like him you know he would always kind of sing play his instruments and stuff like that like do his little beat table beat beats and stuff you know he's right. very he's very making happy, his own little you know? instrumental stuff yeah I get you and so I, you know I never really thought like he would have brought me to a whole band I'm like right like you really this you do this that pop you do this. and then he tried to make me get up there and sing but i had such a <laughs> stage fright back then i was like oh uh, 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 no not today, <laughs> i get you you weren't singing in the church choir and then uh, no. uh, i sing uh. in a couple um i wasn't you know the fondest of it just because i love the environment and i love you know how it sounded but at that age i was so insecure just about like my voice and i never really knew what to do with it and i was way too scared to be heard like i'm talking <laughs> i still got stage fright like on really? my first showcase july 1st i was throwing up outside really like, I no nervous. see i would have never do. expected that because i, 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 I was watching my ig i'm just 
in my mind, it has to go perfect. And if there's anything that that could make it not go perfect, I sit there and I panic about it. And I'm just like, I get you. (laughs) So I've kind of always been that way. That's been something I've slowly been growing out of. But back then, you couldn't pay me enough to get up there and do a solo. Mm -hmm. You couldn't get up there and make me do none of that. I was was a very confident little soprano. You know, I was kind of sitting in my own little place and I I would just sit there and sing what I was supposed to sing and have a good old time. I'm with it. <laughs> right, that's fun though. As long as you can find the fun and the and you know it's something that you were really passionate to you know do and it just mm-hmm. like I figure I find like this a lot of artists you know NBA young boy he's one of the guys he he doesn't really like to be out in the public but when he's on stage he feels inferior he feels like he's the mm-hmm. top guy so I understand how that can you know be I do right. the same way like that too. Sometimes it's easy for me to radio. I just got to talk. I definitely you know? <laughs> say, you know, I got to give credit to my wave stars again, you know, because they definitely kind of build my confidence up in those moments. Like, they they were the first to put me on the stage. They were the first to kind of have faith in my dream. <clears throat> they were the first to, like, really invest anything behind me, you know, when mm, I couldn't right. I couldn't afford, because Lord knows this music business is expensive. Being an independent artist is not easy, y'all. It's not easy at all. Hey, let her know. So let her know. I gotta let give her, a lot of credit, because them, them, you know. them days, you know, that, that performance you were saying you saw with all the lights out and stuff, that one right there, ten, five, ten minutes before that performance, I was fuming. I was, I was super angry. I was super mad. I didn't even want to perform no more. It was just some kind of, like, drama going on with the place that we were at and just things happening just amongst others and just a lot of outside factors really messing with my head and I'm like I gotta get up here and sing now like how am I supposed to do this and so of course, I never figured that you did. Fun, well, out, you did wonderful. Fun, you did you know? wonderful in the performance. Okay, you thank did. Thank God. Great. Appreciate okay. that. We can all thank Quan and the WS for that because Quan's one came out. and dragged me by my arm. He's like, let's go. <laughs> Come on, we're not throwing a fit no more. Come on. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, fine. So Man. I got up there, and you know, I did, I did really good. You know, I can I can say I was very proud of that performance. It, it definitely shocked me, good. like hearing everybody sing the words. I was like. That means you're doing something when people can understand what you're doing, your music behind the words and, and stuff like that. So so now when you're um producing music, th- you're writing as well, right? So are you big on your writing? Do you like sample other I'm very I'm very, very big on my writing. If okay. I sample anything, so I do some things like I'll remix a song and if okay. you know if I like the song, like like Two C's Back from the Dead, um, that's one of my like favorite songs right now. Um, I'm currently like in the middle of mixing that song like myself and stuff and like re-recording it just from the female's perspective, you know? Okay. So if there's ever a song like that, yeah, um, I'll do like a cover slash remix of it or something. But I I take a lot of pride in writing my own music and kind of delivering my own sound just because I, like I feel like there's nothing wrong with singing other other people's lyrics. I don't disagree with it. And it's not anything that I would be kind of closed off to in the future. But as an upcoming artist, you know, being able to have a have that talent, I guess, um, just being able to be good with your words and be, being able to deliver something that people find catchy or people like, or you know, you can hear people singing randomly, or you know, my friends will make a little pun to the song or something, you know, like I I really enjoy that. That's something like I really really like, especially because you know I made it and I created that. You know, like that's not something that I just heard somebody and twisted it like I did that like it's it's amazing to me to kind of have that feeling and know that like I'm really out here like my own artist like I'm I'm a real artist like yeah, you're a real like, artist you know? sometimes you know listen you should be proud of yourself <laughs> because you really are, are are pushing some levels here and I see what the follow I, I, I see everything I see everything a lot of people know I, it's not just podcast it's not just radio I got some other endeavors so I always kind of know who's popping and what's going on in the city. I I, I make that a, a valid point. So to hear your name just coming up, you know, with the bigger name people, you should be proud of yourself. So, okay, Thank let me throw this to you. If you could give the, the, the followers, the fans, the people that are viewing um, a little bit of, about what your style is um, when it comes to your music and like some, uh, what do you see yourself in the future? So as far as my style, you know, I think it's so cliche to say you're versatile, but I really, truly believe that I am um, just because I'm I'm really not scared of a challenge. I actually really enjoy it. I love like 
I love testing myself. Um, so I I originate like as an R and B artist. I I I definitely you know take pride in my R and B. R and B carries me. You know that's that's the window to the soul. You know yeah, R and B is just it. that's my baby, and I know I'm good at it. You know I know I'm good with R and B. But now I'm kind of testing other waters, you know, like I've been, you know, rapping a little bit. I've been trying other genres just as far as soul, as far as pop. Um, I've been trying to kind of tap into like some Afro beats slash like okay. reggaeton music. Like, I, just, <laughs> I really just, I want to expand my palette just so like, you know, I don't deliver just one thing. I want to be able to deliver on everything that I drop, you know, so. As far as like styles, I could I could honestly say I'm very versatile. And I really think, you know, that's going to carry me a lot of the way through my career just because, you know, you have to be adaptable, especially because in this in this world, we ride off, of you know, unfortunately, yeah. we ride off the waves. What's the next big thing and what's yeah, interesting true. today and what's going to be interesting next week, you know? Yeah. And so all that to say, you know. I don't really got one. So y'all just gonna have to catch me in whichever one yeah, you catch yeah, me. Y'all you know? gonna, <laughs> gonna have to catch her. You got to catch it. Look, look, I'm looking. I'm looking like, damn, we got to do a part two. They trying to wind me down. I, you know, <laughs> they ain't gonna tell me what to do anyway. But no, okay. So, um, real quickly, where do you see yourself in the future, and where can people find you, social media wise? So, I mean, you can't really. You can find me on Instagram. Um, okay. You're not really gonna find me anywhere in public. I'm very unless I'm with my wave stars. You know, we host events. We have um my very dear friend La Trello's birthday coming up. So. So make sure y'all pop out this um okay, this pop weekend. Out. You got YouTube or anything? You got any YouTube? I do have a YouTube. I'm actually not that active on it. Okay. But I hey, do have a YouTube. Hey, I got you first. <laughs> hey, I got you first because she's going to be so, a big star, y'all. I appreciate it. But so I want to say, you know, y'all can catch me whenever y'all catch me. You know, anything WS, you know, you're you going to catch me there. Anything, you know dedicated to my career dedicated to you know upcoming artists and showing love i love going to showcases and stuff like that so if you ever got a showcase and you would like me to pop out let me know because i love supporting y'all um as far as where i see myself in the future i see myself doing it all i want to do it all i want to touch acting i want to touch music i want to touch you know business i i really enjoy doing business network is probably networking is probably my number one favorite thing to do next to singing just because like i said you're not going to get nowhere without shaking some hands and opening That's some true. doors, you know? Oh, my elbow. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, a little bit. So, yeah, I will say, you know, I really want to get into it all. You know, I want to be- help build this Wave Stars uh, franchise. You know, I, I-, I want to make this like a multi- multi-millionaire deal. Like, I want to make this, you know, something where everybody gets to eat. I, I love putting people on and kind of building things up. Um, Like, that even goes to say, like, I don't know a thing about fashion i'm not a fashionista i don't shop for myself i'm the worst <laughs> at it i buy five dollar hoops and hey, my friend jackets like i just i'm just not that kind of girl but you know i know so many people who want to model and who want to you know get their clothes out there so i'm putting together currently a fashion show for all the underground designers and underground models and everything is going to be underground i'm talking like i said the designers the models the artists the shoot, i might even do underground security you know. Uh-oh, I'm 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 I'm